And now we have a very special presentation from our friends at Samsung. So we'll ask them to come up at this moment. One million dollars to benefit the students here in Taylor. Thank you, Samsung. The effects of this will be felt for many, many years to come. Thank you for your support. It is an honor now for me to get to introduce Taylor ISD's newest leader. As of last night's school board meeting, <laughs> Dr. Jennifer Garcia Edwardson is starting her new role today as the 20th superintendent of the Taylor Public Schools. And yes. And Dr. Garcia, I don't know of another superintendent anywhere around that started their first day on the job with a million dollar presentation. <laughs> so you're definitely off to a good start. <laughs> She is already learning about our history and our heritage, and she is eagerly looking forward to the future. Please welcome Dr. Garcia. Thank you, everyone. Um, as Tim mentioned, this is my very first day, and I can't think of a better way to spend it than with all of you and this very historical moment. So thank you all. Um, today, we celebrate a forward-thinking community, strong partnerships, and the hard work and dedication of so many individuals that are having a transformational impact on our very community. I would like to take a moment to thank and recognize those who attended planning meetings, handed out materials, and talked to voters about the importance of their vote. Your work has led to this groundbreaking for an entire event center that will be dedicated to the advancement of career and technical education here at Taylor High School. Thank you, thank you, Samsung, for your incredibly generous donation of $1 million. Just one more round of applause, please, for Samsung. Thank you. Your funds are gonna go to fully supply these new learning spaces with the latest state-of-the-art technology, equipment, and more. This partnership will prepare our students for a future they can only imagine at this point. Your continued support for education through multiple grants and donations, as well as paid internships offered to our students every year is truly appreciated. As a newcomer to Taylor, I have been so impressed with the strong sense of tradition and pride that exists here and with the heritage that I'm so proud to now be a part of, as well as my family. Taylor ISD has a long tradition, as I'm learning, of, of preparing students to be future ready and career ready. The first mention of a career program was actually in, I'm sorry, in 1891, when Taylor High School provided student workers for the Taylor mule drawn streetcar system. We have come such a long way since then, and this is only the beginning. It's exciting to think about what the next 10 years holds for us. The impact our students will have will not only be impacted and felt in the Taylor community, but across the country. And it is because of the rich opportunities and community partnerships preparing for our students and their future. Today is a pivotal moment in Taylor ISD. Just think of the high demand and high paying jobs that our students will be sought after to fill, all because of the rich experiences we are providing them to develop their skills for tomorrow. We are truly Team Taylor. And I couldn't say that more. I know I've been here one whole day, but I feel it. Um, and I'm so happy to live it with all of you. And together we are providing a high quality facility and learning environment. And what a wonderful investment in our schools, our community, and our future. The sky is the limit. And I can't wait to see what the next chapter holds for us. Thank you all. Thank you, Dr. Garcia. And now it's time to turn some dirt 
and get this project started. So I'd like to invite all of our uh, speakers up here at the front and our school board to go to the shovels right behind me, uh, our Samsung representatives, and we will take some pictures. Melanie, would you join us at this shovel here on the end? Yes. All right. All right, so everyone with the shovels, let's look straight ahead. Let's get the posed shots with the cameras of everyone uh, smiling at the cameras with the shovels in hand. Everybody be sure and get your shots of this. All right, then everyone grab a scoop of dirt and hold it up in the shovel. And let's get some shots of this. All right, and then on the count of three, let's turn the dirt. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> All right, it is official. Thank you, everybody, so much. And a big new project begins at Taylor ISD. Outside Taylor High School, you saw the groundbreaking begin uh, for a new career and technical education center there. The district is partnering with Samsung to be able to bring this new facility to its campuses and is expected to be uh, available and open for students in 2025. So still a ways off down the road. But uh, what this will do is that it's uh, part of this effort to train students to be able to work at the new semiconductor plant that Samsung is opening uh, there in Taylor. Construction for that is underway. It's a multi-billion dollar project. And you saw there that Samsung gave a million dollars to help out the district, uh, you know, hire staff, buy equipment, build labs, and start up some of the curriculum to be able to get this new uh, career and technical education center up and running. Uh, our reporter, you may have seen her there, just come into focus for a little bit, uh, Mercedes Hernandez, who uh, expertly covers Williamson County. She's reporting on this today, and we'll bring a full report later tonight on KXAN News. So I hope you'll tune into that. We'll have more details as well on KXAN.com. Once again, I'm Will Dupree coming to you from the KXAN Live Studio. Thank you all again for watching. We will see you back here at another time. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.